Alright, so welcome back again to my channel, Math and Language, and we're going to tackle how to multiply fractions. So let's start with the basic one, multiplying a fraction to another fraction. So we have an example, one-half times one-fourth. So ano ba yung mga steps para magmultiply ng a fraction to another fraction? First one, multiply the first numerator to the second numerator. Second, you have to multiply the first denominator to the second denominator. At yung last step, reduce the fraction to lowest term if possible. So let's go back to our problem, 1 half times 1 fourth. So 1 times 1 is equal to 1. So next naman na multiply natin, yung denominator. So that will be 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So ang sagot natin dyan ay 1 8. Isa pang example, 2 thirds times manam 5 fourth. So let's start with the numerator. 2 times 5 is equal to 10. And 3 times 4, yung denominator naman, i-multiply natin, that will be 12. So, ang sagot natin ay 10 over 12. Again, let's check kung pwede pa siyang maging lowest term. So, i-divide natin siya sa greatest common factor, which is 2. So, kapag dinivide na natin, 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. And 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. And the final answer will be 5, 6. Let's go to the next one. How to multiply a whole number to another fraction. So we have a problem like this. 2 times 1 fourth. Ang whole number mo is 2 and yung fraction mo is 1 fourth. So we also have steps in solving this one. First one, place a 1 or number 1 below the whole number. The 1 will be the denominator and the whole number will be the numerator. Second, Multiply the first numerator to the second numerator. Third one, multiply the first denominator to the second denominator. And lastly, reduce the fractions to lowest term if possible. So again, our problem is 2 times 1 fourth. First step natin, yung 2, nalagyan mo ng 1 sa iba ba. So that will be 2 over 1. Ngayon, multiply na natin yung numerator. That will be 2 times 1 is 2. Next naman yung denominator, that will be 1 times 4. And that will be 2 fourth. Now let's divide both the numerator and the denominator by the greatest common factor, which is 2. So that will be 2 divided by 2 is 1, and 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the final answer will be 1 half. So let's go to the next one. How to multiply a mixed number to another fraction. So we have this kind of problem. 3 and 3 fourth multiply it to 2 fifths. So may mga steps tayo. So the first one, we need to convert the mixed number to improper fraction. In yung first step natin balagi. Second is multiply the first numerator to the second numerator. Third one, Multiply the first denominator to the second denominator. And lastly, you have to reduce a fraction to lowest term if possible. So same lang naman din siya. Ang nag lang, you have to convert the mixed number to improper fraction. Kailangan maging fraction sila parehas. So going back to the problem, 3 and 3, 4 times 2, 5. You have to convert the mixed number to improper fraction. So how do you do that? Yung denominator mo, mumultiply mo dun sa whole number, which is 3. So, 4 times 3 is 12. Tapos, a-add mo siya by the numerator. So, 4 times 3 is 12, plus mo ng 3, that will be 15. And you also just going to copy the denominator. So, that will be 15 over 4 times 2 fifth. So, same process. You start by multiplying the numerator. That will be 15 times 2 is 30. Next step is the denominator. That will be 4 times 5. That will be 20. Now, check kung pwede mo pa siyang lowest term. Yes, ang 30 over 20 ay pwede pa siyang maging lowest term. In divide mo siya sa greatest common factor ng 10, 30 divided by 10 is 3. Yung 20 naman, divide mo sa 10 din, that will be 2. So, ang sagot ay 3 halves. Alright, last topic tayo. Multiplying a mixed number to another mixed number. So in steps in multiplying a mixed number to another mixed number, we have four steps then. First one, you have to convert both mixed numbers to improper fractions. 
So, yung dalawang mixed number na yan, dapat maging fraction sila. Pangalawang step, multiply the first numerator to the second numerator. Third one, multiply the first denominator to the second denominator. And last step, you have to reduce a fraction to lowest term if possible. So, same steps apply. Nagkaiba lang, you just have to convert the mixed number to a fraction. So, we have this kind of example, 2 and 1 6 times mo ng 3 and 1 third. So, first step, kailangan mo makonvert yung mixed number na yan sa improper fraction. So, denominator mo ay 6, multiply mo sa whole number, that's 2, plus mo ng 1 sa numerator, that will be 13. Ayun yung numerator mo. And you just have to copy the denominator, which is 6. So, 3 and 1 thirds, that will be, 3 times 3 is 9, o plus mo ng 1, that will be 10. That will be 10 thirds. So, let's multiply it na. Dahil both fractions na sila, 13 times 10 is 130. And the denominator naman, 6 times 3, that will be 18. So, may sagot ka na ng 130 over 18. That's the improper fraction. However, you still need to reduce it. Or, gawin siyang mixed number. So, 130, divide mo ng 18, you will get an answer of 7, remainder 4. For that one, yung 7, yung quotient, that will be the whole number. The remainder na 4, the remainder is the numerator. And the denominator in yung divisor. So that will be 7 and 4 over 18. But you still have to reduce it to lowest term. So the 7 and 4 over 18 will be 7 and 2 over 9. And that's the end of the video about multiplying fractions. Next video natin will be about dividing fractions. If you would like to comment or suggest another math and language video or comment assignment ko, please comment down below. Again, this is James, your math and language instructor. Please like and subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye.